Next to face the sharks, a marketing professional with the secret ingredient to healthy living. Hi, I'm Kate Johansson, and I'm the founder of Koja. Today, I'm seeking $150,000 in return for 25% equity. I believe that health is the most important aspect of our lives, and that the way we eat affects not only our physical health, but our mental health as well. 100%. Koja is a range of superfood toppers. We've got three breakfast toppers and three salad toppers. These can be added to fruit, muesli, yogurt, smoothies, porridge, or the salads can be added on top of any salad that you like. They're all a mix of nuts, seeds and superfoods, and they're highly nutritious. In Australia, we have a $780 million vitamin and supplement industry, yet we are still one of the most unhealthiest nations in the world. Last year, I was working for a supplement company and I learnt a little bit about the way that supplements are made. What I began to ask myself was, why would we have synthetic vitamins when the real thing literally grows on trees? And so Koja was born as a real food alternative. Koja is different to the thousands of other muesli and cereal products that are available in the marketplace because we don't use any grains. It's completely free from any fillers such as oats, wheat, rice bran, this enables us to maintain a high level of nutrient density. Thank you very much for your time, and I've got some samples if you'd like to try. Love them too. Let's munch some koja. Does koja have any relevance as a name at all? I wanted to create a strong brand. Thank you very much. That was oh. short and easy to remember. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And this is a chia. Chia pudding, yeah. Chia pudding. A little bit of yogurt. Yeah. That. Oh, yum. There you go. That's fantastic. It's all fantastic. <laughs> How are you selling at the moment? Um, so I sell via three distribution channels at the moment. Online, wholesale into health food stores and independent supermarkets, and also direct at markets on the weekends. How much does it cost to make it? How much will you sell it for? It costs me $5 on average oh. to make the breakfast toppers. Uh, wholesaling for $11.50. 11. Okay, cool. All right, so what's your revenue to date? We've been trading for just over 14 months and have achieved close to $80,000 in sales with a gross profit margin of 62%. The supply side of your business? Yeah. If suddenly you got an order for 10,000 units, yeah. just how you'd handle that? I'm currently working with a contract manufacturing kitchen just outside of Melbourne. Uh, I do have some capacity issues there which is why I'd like to move the business towards large-scale large contract manufacturing. So what are you going to do with 150 grand then? I'd like to focus it on three key areas of the business. Firstly, 60,000 in just setup of equipment and initial stock. The distribution and the third area that I'd like to invest the money is uh, on a marketing campaign so that those three elements of the business can just take this from what is essentially, you know, a small business to something that can just go national, you know, in a matter of months. Yeah, that won't, the 150 won't go that far. Yes. How long do you think this $150,000 will last you? I think it's enough to get me to the next level. I think that it wouldn't be unrealistic to see myself in 100 stores in just less than six months. Pushes my yearly sales from close to 100,000, which is what we're on track for this year, to 500,000 by quadrupling the current sales. Hey, look, Kate, I'm, gonna, I'm just going um, to... I think I'm going to tell you where I'm at. I don't think you're going for enough money and I don't understand how you're going to make this a big business given the, what the, the distributor's going to want and a whole bunch of other reasons. I, I, I think you're going to be just as busy and running out of money within six months. So on that, I'm going to declare my interest and say I'm out. Good luck. Thanks.
Kate, you're a marketer. From one market to another, you know how big and expensive it is to build a brand. Um, I think you've got a wonderful idea. My concern is about how expensive marketing is. Mm -hmm. I can hear you're trying to do quite a lot and with effectively limited resources. But what is missing for me is single-minded focus. So, I'm out. Thanks. I love your product. It's the sort of product I would use for breakfast every day but I, I have problems with the business model. And I just think that's a development issue. It's just where you are in the cycle, so you shouldn't be discouraged by that. I'd frankly be more impressed if, you know, we're a bit further down the track and asking for 500,000 and you really wanted to blow the lights out and build a business. So well done, but because of where you're at with the business model and the timing, I'm out. Okay, thank you. Is this what you do full time? Um, I've been working as a marketing consultant and I do that eight to 10 hours a week, but otherwise I'm full time. So I'm in health food stores, I'm standing there promoting it, I'm at markets on the weekends, I'm blogging. And over the last 12 months, I've reinvested just the sales of the business. If you actually factor your real costs in and you charge to wage your real wage to the business, you're actually losing money. Janine, you're the food space. What are your thoughts? Oh, I think that the product itself is exceptional. What I love about it is genuinely there is just food in here. The other thing I like about it is it has a long shelf life. I think the branding is awesome. I think that even the fact that it's a one colour process keeps the cost down, <laughs> but it still looks really lovely. There's a lot of good about the product. Actually, it's all good. You are excellent. You know, you're sincere, you're, you're honest, you can tell your passion about this. The problem is it's going to be a hard grind. It's going to be really, really difficult. I do love it. What are you thinking? Kate Johansson wants $150,000 for 25% of her health food business, Koja. I believe that health is the most important aspect of our lives. Three sharks have opted out, but food queen Janine is interested. What I love about it is genuinely there is just food in here. Where I sit is that the product itself is excellent. You are excellent. You know, you're sincere, you're, you're honest, you can tell your passion about this. For me, it's just a little bit early. Mm -hmm. I think that there's a lot more capital that needs to go into this business to get it to the next level. So, um, not taking away anything from this amazing product and I will definitely be a consumer of it and I'll definitely go online and buy some. Thanks. But for me, I'm sorry I'm out. Okay, thank you. Kate, I think you've got a really interesting business. I think you are a future, very successful entrepreneur. The problem is the business is actually making a loss. So you're asking for a very big investment for a company that's losing money based on a wish that one day it's going to make money. My only problem right now is your valuation. At 150,000, I'd want to have 200% of the business, not 25% of the business. But I'd be prepared to invest on terms that I think are far more realistic for where the business is today. But I would want to have for $50,000, 50% of the business. So my offer to you would be, I'll give you the 150,000, but in two tranches, 50,000, and we're now in business together. We're partners, mm -hmm. and it's our job to work together to create a multi-million dollar business. 
and the $100,000 becomes a loan repayable over the next few years on commercial terms out of the profits as we grow them. Of course, not until we grow profits, but as we grow them. So, Kate, you've got one shark. Yeah. He wants half of your business. Everything that you've done yeah. right up until this point, and uh, he wants half. So where you're at? I respect that you have an issue with my valuation of the business. Um, I am not sure that I agree with your valuation of the business. I understand that I'm at a point in the business where I do need to either, you know, it needs to go somewhere and get up or, um, or not. I think the thing you got to think about, Kate, mm -hmm. at the moment you own 100% of a business that some people would say is worth nothing. Yep. You may end up owning 50% of a business that's multi-million dollars in value. Yes. You should that be biting be... his hand off, Kate. <laughs> you should be biting his hand off at this point in time. That, that would be, that's the opportunity. So, uh, you know, I think other than the money, the yep. loan and the equity, the connections, the experience, but that's my offer and it's really up to you to decide if you want to take your business to another level. I think you've got to recognise that right now your business is making a loss. Mm -hmm. It's a big risk in a big market. Yep. And this is an opportunity to have that throw at the stumps that could make your business very valuable, our business very valuable if we do <laughs> yeah. it together. I'm happy with the um, amount of investment and the loan. I was wondering if you would be happy to, be settle, to settle on 45. Good. <laughs> you want to know somebody can negotiate. She's your business partner. Let's do a deal. Thank you very much. Well done. Congratulations. Very good. Oh, well done, Kate. Kate. That is so great. Can I go back to the purple stuff? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> You're welcome to take any yeah. of the samples. Well. No, 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 you pay for it. If you guys want it, you pay for it, Kate. <laughs> We're with new business model. Thank you. I'm excited. I think I'm a little bit intimidated about the amount of work that needs to happen according to the sharks, but no, I think uh, it's going to be great.